show them people exactly. So then once I'm done, I want you to show it done. We're gonna make just a video for just this part right here. So here we are, Palo Alto, California. Uh, our customer had a, a, a slip resistant rug mat and what it did is it adhered to the sealer and to the floor. So you can see it's a whitewash Satio tile paver, uh, which is it's stain basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the stain, everything from these tiles completely, take it all the way down to the raw tile and re-whitewash them. Um, so I will show you that in a second. But first I need to strip all this stuff off of here and get all this little white stain and everything out of here. Like everything else, preparation is the most important, so I don't need to necessarily get all the whitewash out of the pores, I just need to get it, the sealer off, the rug stuff off, and then I need to, um, you know, get it knocked down a little bit, and then I'm going to acid wash it, do a couple other things before I restain it to kind of open up the pores so that when I restain it, the stain goes in evenly and it doesn't streak on me. Um, so I'm going to do this, I'll be back in about an hour, show you some more. You can see I stripped these tiles here. I re whitewashed them. You can see I blended them almost completely perfectly. I promise you, there's nobody on the planet Earth that could have done that. I promise you, there's maybe one other person, and that was one of the people that taught me how to do this. Not even both of them, only one other person, probably. So, what I just did there was truly an art piece of artwork. Now we're doing the final seal. This is the fifth layer of sealer I put on the floors. The sealer will protect it and keep it looking, uh, as you can tell, bling bling. It'll keep, make it easier for the customer to clean it. It'll keep it the whitewash from getting walked off again like it did before. Um, you can see it turned out amazing. I haven't quite showed the customer yet, but I'm pretty sure they're going to love it. And if they don't, I don't know what to say. So you can see, same thing, like when I seal, most importantly is there's a stain on here, a whitewash. So you got to, the sealer protects the stains you got to build up the sealer so that when people are walking on it they're walking on the sealer and you got to build up the layers here multiple layers so that you build up the protection so that they don't just wear right through the sealer and then start you know then because then what happens is when they start wearing on it then the whitewash starts to come off <clears throat> guys like this video and like what we've been doing, you like this whitewash or you guys came up with a crazy color for me, or if you just have any questions regarding refinishing and restoration, you should subscribe, you should like us, you should share us more importantly. You know, we're just trying to keep everybody informed so they understand they don't have to settle for second rate work. There is always better. Don't let these jerk offs talk you into doing something you don't need to do. And that mat damage there from the skid mats, a lot of you guys put those mats down to keep your nice rugs from slipping and sliding. So just make sure you do your homework and really make sure you're using the proper mat. There's multiple different mats out there now that they're using. Um, so you just want to make sure you do your homework. I find the ones that are real rubbery, you've got lots of rubber on the back, are the ones that have a tendency to stick more. Uh, so something to think about. That was kind of the purpose of the video. 
uh, and for this particular customer as those tiles were pretty much ruined as like I said as you can see I brought them all the way back you can't even tell that they were damaged that's so next level like I said I promise there's nobody that could come in the middle of a floor like that and do what I just did to it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this last coat of sealer take off this tape and get paid baby so like us subscribe share us join our community stay informed What kind of snake? What kind of snake is that thing? Oh, it's just a carbon snake. Oh, I know that. I just really don't know All right, you ready? Next level. Oh wow! I'm trying to tell you. So what made you call me in the first place? Uh, of the grub. Is this a change from original color, or is it? Uh... Well, it's just over the years it begins to antique and like even the tiles. I mean, it's just anything that once it's here and you walk on it and you use it and you wear it, just over time, cleaners and, you know, it just becomes.